What? What's the most unsuccessful handheld of all time? The Gizmondo. Who made it? Tiger. Tiger? Yeah. Did they? Tiger what? Telematics? Telematics. Yes! Hello again, you lovely people. Um, we're going to be taking a look at a couple more Gizmondo games, commercially released ones. Um, but I'm also going to uh, give you a little uh, blast from the past with um, some photos of uh, the Gizmondo store, which I'm going to insert uh, now. That was the Gizmondo store in London on uh, Regent Street. Um, I managed to go there once and it was, uh, yeah, it was really, really, really interesting. Nice store. Um, it's a shame it never became a chain of stores, eh? Um, also, there was uh, the booths, as I talked about in the previous video. Um, booths that which were in uh, very selected malls in America. Here's a picture of a booth now inserted here. Also, um, at the time, of course, when uh, Gizmondo released, uh, they had um, they had a couple of videos which they um, went along with the with, with the console to try and sell it. Oh, you know, you didn't really see it very often. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the first of the videos inserted here. I'm going to show you a couple more videos in a little bit, but um, I think first of all we'll have a look at one of the games. As I said, this is going to be a couple of the uh, commercially released games again. If you hear any noise in the background, that is my son playing with his toys in the sink. And I apologise for any noise. Right, I thought first of all we'd have a look at the uh, Compendium games. There was two of these released. It was the Classic Compendium and Classic Compendium 2. Ooh, what a play on words. Right, this is a look at the first one. Classic Compendium. Obviously we won't go deep into gameplay, because as you can see they're very long winded ones. So you've got like chess, checkers, backgammon, four in a line, which is four in a row in this country. And uh, reversey, whatever it is, however you pronounce that. Uh, I think we'll have a look at, yeah, four in a line or, you know, connect four as we call it. Right, here we go. Oh, very relaxing music. I feel like you need a massage.
I doubt I'm about to have my ass whipped. Oops. Ah, you beat me. What a surprise. Ah, so yeah, as you can see, that is Connect 4. Yes. Uh, let's have a look at that gun. So I don't know the rules to backgammon whatsoever, so I'm just basically showing you the board. <laughs> okay then. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's probably about as far as we're going to get with this one. Because <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh damn me. Mm. No. Not a clue. So we're gonna escape that one. Oh dear. Let's go back. That wasn't the right button. <laughs> There we go. Exit. As I say, there was no point in me playing that any further because I don't know the rules. Uh, checkers. That's a bit more self-explanatory. Basic checkers, isn't it? Really? Oh, you got me. Yeah, it's that one. Oh, did it again. Wrong one. This one. <clears throat> right, I'll have a look at chess. Okay, I'm not sure on the rules on this one. Oliver. Yeah, it makes no difference me telling my son to be quiet, he obviously isn't going to be. So enjoy his singing. Chess. As I say, not really uh, much point in playing it. And last but not least, whatever this is. Uh -huh. Hmm. Not a fiddling clue. <laughs> So that is your first compendium. Let's skip out of that. And let's go to exit. There we are. So yeah, that was the first compendium. Oh, the keypad's just locked on me. So uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute and we'll take a look at another game. Oh, no, we're back actually. Oh no, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. We'll look at Classic Compendium 2. A little bit more funky music there. Stop dancing. Oh. What's the noise in the background again? 
I do apologise. So this is um, hmm, very interesting. And once again, I do not know what the rules are here. Not a clue. I don't even know how to make a tile. Not a clue. No, but that's what it looks like. There you go. <laughs> at least we can look at it. <coughs> right. Exit. Chinese checkers. <coughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Well, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Interesting. Sure, that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh dear, here we go. Right, so we've looked at Chinese checkers. Uh, let's have a look at. Oh no, we looked at that one already. Okay, let's go back. We'll have a look at Chinese chess. Once again, very interesting. Hmm. Very odd. Hmm. Not a clue, once again. But, you know, it's interesting to see, isn't it? This looks like the other one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give up with this one already. Hmm. I'm sure there's some of you out there know exactly what you'll be doing here, but I have not an inkling. But it showed you what they uh, what they look like, you know. What is on your uh, two classic compendium games? And if you like that kind of Chinesey stuff, I'm sure you're uh, going to be in seventh heaven. Right. Well, that was the classic compendiums. I'm going to take a look at a uh, another game in just a moment. Um, another release game, but. I'm going to give you that second advert and I'm going to insert it now.
This is the story of the bumblebee. Its wings are too small and its body too big. According to all principles, it's too heavy for its wings. It just can't fly. But no one has told this to the bumblebee. So it flies and flies. He doesn't care much about principles, do you? Yeah, as you say, the adverts were, uh, yeah. There was something wrong there, yeah. It's just a shame you didn't get to see them very often, like I said. Um, right, the next game we're going to take a look at is, he says, let's have a look. See if I can find it. Hockey Rage, there we are, 2005. This was, uh, again, you know, not, not a bad little sports title, really. Um, yeah, I mean, it's ice hockey, and it's quite fun. Let's have a look. Again, Fat Hammer. German and board. Mm. German and board. Mm. Oh, shall I be German? That would be very suitable, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd be German, thank you very much. Not you. Because I am German. I mean, just for the hell of it. We'll put in England. If we can. Yeah, Britain, should I say? No, oh, you can't choose it. Oh, how annoying. Alright, we'll be America then. <laughs> Loading. Of course, England isn't really very famous for ice hockey, is it? Not, not really, not in the big scheme of things. That's probably why they're not a choice. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're going to smash my face. Smash my face. Oh. I'm saying quite nice graphics. Especially for a uh, handheld. Back in 2005. Well, let's not bore you too much. That's a uh, hockey rage. 2005, a little goal again. For the USA, of course. Not me. Okay, well, that was two more Gizmondo games there. 
And uh, <coughs> um, just to end this video off, they were going to um, release Smart Ads, as we all know, um, because originally they released the Gizmondo, uh, the premium console. And uh, a bit later, uh, they decided to release a second version, the Smart Ads version. And they were going to, well, they did, they reduced it by £100 um, if you agreed to have so many Smart Ads every, uh, every day. So, um, what actually happened was, it made no relevance whatsoever which console you bought because Smart Ads were never made or were never actually um, used. So, yeah, you, uh, you know, the poor sods who bought the premium version must have been gutted because, uh, yeah. Smart ads never happened, but they did make one, and we're going to end this video with um, me inserting the only I know of smart ads that was ever made but not released. And I'm going to uh, yeah end this video showing you that. So I hope you liked this video. Um, you know, if you did, obviously comment, like, subscribe, all that gubbins as usual. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me, and I'll leave you with that smart ads advert inserted here. Goodbye. Reach your audience one-to-one -one with triple impact by combining the best of TV advertising, direct mail, and direct marketing. Hey, Josh. New uh, tattoo? Yeah. It means dragon. Mine means eternal life. Trust your instincts. Be yourself. It's bright. Trust your body. It's a blazing 40 degrees outside, so why not cool off with some refreshing Sprite? And get two for one just by showing this barcode at your local 7-Eleven. Your current position is indicated by the flashing green dot on your GPS screen. Smart ads. Own the pocket. Yeah. What's the most unsuccessful handheld ever? Um, the Gizmondo. The what? The Gizmondo. Who made it? Tiger Telematics. Oh.